It is Saturday. It's day six of our like quarantining yes. life. Um, we have to go get some soil. So what we're gonna do, well, because I need to start ginger and I need to start my beets. Um, and I just need to have soil on hand because that's what, you know, a number one rule for gardeners is you need to have soil on hand. So we are going to um, go to the store and oh, it's getting really bright. Let me turn the light down. So we're going to go to the store, but we're not going to go in the store. We're going to call and like do the transaction over the phone on our way over. And then we'll just pick up the bags outside and we'll wash our hands when we get home. Okay, I haven't left the house since, was it Wednesday when we went shopping? Thursday. Thursday, so I've been home since Thursday. I haven't like left the house Saturday other than to go on walks. Saturday for reference. Yeah, it's Saturday. Um, so it's kind of nice just to go anywhere, even if we're not going in a building. But I'm gonna go pick up some soil. It's cold today. It was warm this week. Let's get it was warm this week, like 70 degrees or something almost on Friday. And now it's 29 degrees. Yeah, there's lots to do around the farm. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Lots to do. I mean, we have to do spring cleaning. There's like so much stuff to clean up. The garden needs a lot of prep work still. Um, gotta put down more wood chips, gotta put down more uh, hay. We still have like a month or so before we'll actually be planting. So now is the season for seed starting. So I wanted to take you guys with us on a day of quarantine life on the farm. Yeah. We're both working from home now. Really, really, really uh, blessed to be in a situation where we can both keep our jobs and work from home. Really grateful for that. Um, of course, we're feeling like the stress and anxiety like everybody else is, but um, just taking it one day at a time. So, yeah, come to the store with us. I'm sure you want to get out of the house just as much as we do. Ontario Country Mix, this is Jake. How can I help you? Hi, Jake. I was wondering if I could place an order for some soil to pick up in store in a few minutes over the phone. Yeah, what soil were you looking for? It's the coast of Maine soil, the pink bag. Potting. Just the regular, that's the regular um, potting soil, correct? Correct. Okay, how many did you want? Two bags, please. Two of them? Yes. Okay. Is there anything else you needed? No, that'll be it. Okay, so your total came to 1726. Okay. Whenever you are ready. Okay, so we got our soil and now we're gonna we're gonna head back home. So that was easy. Very easy. Didn't have to interact with anybody. Because we hate people. No, I'm just kidding. But still, it is nice not to have to interact with anybody right now, so that was good. Good deal. Today is Sunday, Sunday, March 22nd. And we are finishing our very last batch of maple syrup boiling. How does it feel? It feels like it went by really quick, honestly. Yeah, this year we didn't have nearly as much sap as we did last year. Um, so. Yeah, it's a little bit of a disappointment just because we didn't get to do as much because of the the mildness of the weather that we had this winter and this early spring. But we still got a fair amount. It'll still get us quite yeah. a bit, quite a distance, and we definitely we improved our systems and our infrastructure this year. Yeah, we probably made we'll probably have made like a gallon and a half when all is said and done. Maybe a little bit more. I am going to be starting well, I'm going to be planting ginger rhizomes in some um, pots and I'm going to be starting some beets today as well, probably. Soon I'm going to be planting some potatoes. We're also going to work a little bit today on cleaning up the garden while we're out here. So we have um, 
just a lot of weeds coming up already so we need to put down more mulch some of our beds use wood chips for mulch some of our beds use hay for mulch and so we're gonna lay down more mulch just to keep those weeds suppressed and minimize how much weeding we will have to do it's kind of hard to believe that the garden will continue as normal this year with everything else being so chaotic everywhere but that will be definitely an appreciated sense of normalcy so we're gonna get going get started get the garden in tip-top shape I get really overwhelmed when I look at it because it just looks so sad but one one step at a time I'll count to ten, then open up my eyes if you're gone I'll take it as a sign So we're getting ready to work on the garden, but the chickens are making a scene over here. What? What's the deal? So much chicken drama. Nothing going on guys, I promise. I'm going to start cleaning out some of these dead kale plants. I'm gonna mulch the top of this right here. Um, and then we're gonna get some, some mulch down over in other parts of the garden that really need it. And then I also need to cut down some, some old plants, so. Hello. Hello. It's finally time to plant ginger. Um, I cut the ginger last Monday, it's been a week. Um, I've allowed the ginger to heal over, as you can see here, there. So now it's time to plant it. I planted about an inch below the surface. I have these nice large pots right here, one for each ginger. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights So that was extremely easy because I already got all the soil prepped. So let me go ahead and get the heating mat which is currently sitting under peppers and put that under the ginger. Okay friends, so I figured you might want to see some of the plants that I've started so I'm going to show you the little seedlings and we're gonna take a look at them down I will keep on searching for my eyes you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down Crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. So, we got the onions, we've got the ginger, we've got the tomatoes, the cabbage and kale, and some more tomatoes. We've got the peppers, more peppers, tomatillos, and then we've got these brassicas, the broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. And the salary. The sky is falling 